What's going on everybody? It's Dr. Daddy here again and it's another story time. I feel like it's time for y'all to hear another story about me. I finally got something I want to share with you and so well without further ado let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna tell you guys about the first time I got into a fight. Yeah me fight? Nah never. You would never expect that. Well if you knew me when I was younger you'd know I, I used to not take anything off anybody so I mean it is what it is I've grown up now and got smarter and you gotta learn when to uh, bite your tongue and it's not worth getting in trouble over but anyways so I was in I think seventh grade I want to say I was in seventh grade so I would have been 13 don't bash me if I'm wrong for that because I can't really remember but I was in seventh grade and it was it was on the bus and the guy that I've never had problems with before, he just, I had a girlfriend at the time, and she was kind of one of the most popular girls in school, which I was pretty popular in middle school, and high school not so much, but it is what it is. So, I mean, me and her were kind of like, I played football, she cheerleaded, and I was, I was one of the bigger kids of my class up until, I'd say, about 11th grade, so it, it was kind of like, I mean... Football, football guy dates cheerleader, typical thing. So, anyways, he was in her classes in middle school, and for some reason he decided he wanted to just make fun of her last name because she had a different last name. Even though she was white, her last name was kind of funny, now that I think about it. But still, at the time, I was kind of like, nah, we ain't going to go there. So we are on the bus one day, and a guy I played baseball with as well, we sat in the same seat, and the guy that was in her class sat in the seat in front of me. And I had heard that he was running his mouth about her and everything, but I was just going to let it go. And I told my buddy that was sitting with me, and he's like, no, nah, don't let it go. Let's mess with him. And so he decided he wanted to mess with him a little bit. He, um, he would start messing with his hair. And the whole time, the guy thought it was me, and I'm just sitting there laughing. So he just started flicking him in the back of the head and stuff like that. Like, not trying to, like, bully him or anything, just trying to stir the pot, really. And um, he finally, after I think the fourth or fifth slap, he got up and he was like, if you're going to do something, do it. And he pushed me. I'm in, I'm sitting down. You can't really do anything when somebody's sitting down. Pushing them does nothing. So it was literally just like he touched me and I grabbed the seat, pulled myself up and just hit him. And just as a disclaimer, I'm not encouraging fighting at all whatsoever. There's no reason to fight most of the time. It, if you're going to fight just to look cool, you're an idiot. I'm just saying. But anyway, so I grabbed the seat in front of me, pulled myself up, and hit him. So he kind of wasn't expecting it because I don't know. But <laughs> I definitely knew he wasn't expecting it because he did not do anything except take the hit to the head. And... From there, I blacked out. I don't remember anything. The only thing I remember is when I, I was on top of him when I got pulled off. He was in the middle of the aisle on the bus, and my other friend had pulled me off of him after watching for like five, ten minutes of me just sitting there beating him into the floor of the bus. So he pulled me off, and the guy that I was fighting had tried to come at me, and... He like dove at me and I just put my foot up and kicked him square in his nose and broke his nose. And <laughs> I mean, I don't understand why he would even try after he literally just got his ass kicked. I don't understand why people don't understand how to just take a whooping and go on about their day. I mean, I guess it's a pride thing, but it is what it is. Anyways, so I mean, that's all I really remember is I hit him one time, blacked out, and then last thing I remember is I was getting pulled off of him on the aisle, and then he came at me, and I kicked him and broke his nose. Well, I think it was later that day, my buddy, I had went over to my buddy's house, because of course I didn't get in trouble, at least by my parents, because I didn't start it. I didn't do anything. He put his hands on me first. So... And that's all, that's how my parents were, is as long as you didn't start it, they don't care. So I went to my buddy's house, and he was telling me, because I, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was like, what happened? And he's like, what do you mean what happened? I was like, I don't remember. I remember hitting him one time, and that's it. 
So he proceeded to tell me, yeah, you, I mean, you grabbed the seat, pulled yourself up and hit him. And then you picked him up and pulled him over the seat and slammed him into the aisle. I don't remember that. But apparently that's what happened because not only he wasn't the only one that told me, the bus driver, which my mom growing up, she drove buses as like a side job as well. But so my bus driver and my mom's bus driver and my mom, my bad, were good friends. So she told my mom that I picked him up and pulled him over the seat. And I mean, I didn't believe it at first, but when I had the bus driver, my friend and a couple more people tell me the exact same thing, you're kind of forced to believe it. And then that's really pretty much it is. I mean, he didn't fight back. He didn't have a chance. So <laughs> that's just the way that cookie ends. I, I I still today, like it was stupid to fight over. Because, I mean, when you're young and growing up, it, it, no matter what you think, the girl you're dating at the time, you're not going to be with forever. You're just not going to. So... I guess the moral of the story being you're not lame or you're not scared, you're not a pussy, you're nothing. If you don't fight, just be, you're the bigger person. You're more mature. It is what it is. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Learn from my mistakes. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I appreciate you guys watching. Have a good day.